Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm playing Conan Exiles. Um, it's a game that I've had since it first launched because uh, I do really like these survival type games. Um, I did stop playing it for a long time because, to be honest, I had nobody to play it with, um, which isn't ideal, obviously. Um, I apologise if you can hear sniffing. My dog has decided to literally look at me um, and sniff the microphone. Helpful. Um, well done, Winston. You've ruined the intro, but never mind. Anyway, if you want to see more videos of this game or any other type, please make sure you do remember to uh, subscribe um, and please do like the video because uh, if you don't, then my content gets uh, recommended to nobody so we don't get any more uh, viewers and subscribers. Um, also, if you are interested in supporting me, bearing in mind I cannot get ad revenue at all on my channel for some reason, um, please do head over to my Patreon page. Um, the It's not a link, unfortunately, but the actual address is at the end screen if you do want to, uh, if you do want to support me. It does help. Currently, I have one subs uh, subscriber on my Patreon, um, Just Jeff, who's an absolute legend. He's been... Uh, a member of Patreon for a very long time um, and is currently my only patron subscriber so um, the more the the more the merrier uh, so they say and uh, obviously it would be much appreciated but without out of the way let's get to looking at the game so I'm on a private server which is paid by one of my discord members um, Soul Reaver. Now, that's not his uh, Discord name. His, his Discord name is actually Resistant3579, I believe, or something along those lines. Um, but uh, he has kindly donated his server to the Discord channel. Um, it is a paid server, so it's fully maintained. Um, and uh, anyone on the Discord can join that. So, again, please do head over to my Discord channel. Um, uh, if you want the link, then please do ask in the comments below, and I will provide that to you. But, um, yeah, uh, it's definitely better than I remember. Um, obviously, when I last played it, there was no taming or mounts of any description, but now they are available. Um, I have managed to build a relatively large base with all of the really useful uh, mod cons. I say mod cons, they're not really mod cons, they are just crafting benches that are, are really helpful. So we have it just inside here, we've got our carpenter's bench. Um, we also have a dryer, so that's for drying wood. Um, we also have a smithy, or blacksmith bench as they call it here and two furnaces um, so we can produce metal and bricks that's basically what we're looking at doing now what we also have is we have steel fire um, which is basically what you need to make steel within the game so that's again an interesting thing now currently on the server there are three of us we've got Soul Reaver who's decided to uh, make himself unconscious um, literally right in the middle of the floor for some strange reason, not sure why. Um, and if we go to the clan page, um, we have also got Volgaz, who's uh, a long-term um, member of the Discord as well. So uh, they're the only two members currently, so do feel free to come on over if you, uh, if you want to. Um, it would be greatly appreciated to have more on board. Um, but yeah, we've we've also got the tannin rack, um, who we've got a tanner working away. Look, so we do have somebody to help us. Um, we have got a an armorer's bench. Um, we have got a tanner's table, and we have also got an artisan table. Now, the benefit of these is you can pick them at, up at any time. So if we determine that there's not enough room for all of the people to help out on these, we can literally just move it and we do have more than enough space in here so it might be that we move the armorer's bench uh, over here for instance so that it's uh, closer to the wood and the furnace um, and then we could move the tanner's table closer to the uh, tannery which would make sense now we do have auto door closing as well 
On top of that, we do have alchemy and we have a fire fireball cauldron, which is useful for making things like the uh, steel fire and alchemical base, whatever that might be. So we've got tar here and then we've got brimstone, so we can make a load more steel fire when we need to. Um, realistically, that's kind of it for the time being. Um, we do have a cooking fire, so with a lot of raw meat in it, which is not great. Well, it actually is great because if we take this raw stuff here and we go out here, we actually do have some compost heaps. Now, what we can do is we can put all of this in the compost heap. And if we then put it in alongside, I mean, we've got compost here. So let's split that. So I'll take five and I'll put it in the planter here. There we go. And then I can take all of those. Now, unfortunately, there is absolutely no seed in there, um, which is annoying because it would have been good to have uh, some seeds left behind. But we do have some berries that we can go and... In fact, I wonder if I crush some of the berries, I wonder if we will get out of it a... Uh, if I split that. No, unfortunately, there is... No. I was wondering whether you could crush out some seeds from the berries, but you can't, unfortunately. So I'll go and put these back in. Back in here. What are they for? They're a snack. Uh, I may as well keep them then. I think you can make dye out of them as well. Anyway, let's carry on with the tour of the base. I know this is just a bit of an overview about what we've built so far, but um, I do find it quite useful. So this is the new area that I've just finished building. This is for, well, anything really, anything extra that we need to build. We also have a bridge across the main path through the uh, base. So, as you can see, we can see outside. And we can go all the way across. This is going to be kind of like a barracks sort of area. Might get a load of fighters in here. And then we can then go through into a little annex before what will eventually become the uh, meeting hall, I suppose. The clan hall. Um, or throne room depending on what you want to call it. And behind here, we then have access to another little area, which is more like a servant's quarters. And yes, I do mean servants and not slaves, even though we stick them on a pain wheel and break their will. So, if we uh, head out here, we've got another person being tamed at the moment. Um, how much further have they got to go? Um, just an just under halfway we're actually running out of gruel though so I need to go and gather some bark and some berries not berries sorry some bark and some seeds so there we go gather some seeds and some plant fibers using the scythe here And then we use a pick on a tree to get bark. And resin, of course. We also need some bone meal, because adding bone meal to the um, gruel actually improves the quality of the gruel.
There we go. And one last tree, and then we're we're kind of done. Huh. Seem to have a lot of rabbits around here all of a sudden. Didn't have rabbits before. Put that away. Run back. See if I can make some more food. I think it's plant fiber and seeds is what makes the uh, gruel. Yep, there we go. Plant fiber and seeds. And if I put some... There you go. So I've got a lot more plant fiber, a lot more seeds, so it is going to make uh, another 80 yard gruel, which will be very useful. We've got... Well, actually... It's making considerably more than that. It's making 18 qu quantity, but there's 10 per quantity. So once I've got uh, 100, I'll go and put it in the uh, thing, and then I will go and change into my adventuring gear, and we can go and see whether we can uh, have a bit of a fight. Which is um, going to be a little more interesting, I think. But yes, um, back to what I experienced before. Um, so I did play this game as I said when it first came out and um, although I did enjoy it, don't get me wrong, it was very enjoyable. Um, it wasn't quite as good as Ark for instance because yes there were graphical glitches and technically it's not quite as good because it hasn't quite got the same sort of um, time put into it or money put into it etc. Um, so you know there are some technical limitations to some of the things the building is actually better and um, you can see that you can make some pretty nice funky situations you've actually got um, some decorative um, stands as well so if I built something out the side of this building here I could actually have some supports um, holding it up rather than it just floating in midair like it does in arc but at the same time um, there are a lot of things that it doesn't do quite as well um, right, there we go. So I have now got my fighting equipment on. So I can go and raid a little place over here. All right, let's stop sprinting so I can get some stamina back. And then wait for them to come over. Actually, oh, it's a smelter one. That's not ideal, is it? Could do with a smelter two or three is the ideal. And what we then do is we hit with an axe to get some bones so we can make some bone meal. Should be another guy. There we go. An archer and he's got a sword. Makes perfect sense. Why are you carrying stone? How very odd of you. There we go. Bones and stone inside the chest. So I can now take that bone to the um, grinder and grind it into bone meal. So... I can then put that in these uh, composters. So let's add those bones. And it's already started. So I think it adds four per... Yeah, so it adds four per tick. So I'm going to get um, another 44 times four. Which is quite nice. So let's just... Take some of that. Put it in there, and that's making some more compost. Let's 
Let's wait until this gets to 20, and then I'll take that as well and put it in the other one. There we go. Yeah, so that's making some more compost. Okay. So there we go. Um, there's obviously a lot more to this game. Um, so you'll have something called the Purge, which comes and tries to wipe you out, um, which is not a very nice um, experience. Uh, so we need to get enough people to help us defend. We've got all of this space here that we can build on. So it might be that um, I start making a corral for keeping all of the uh, friendly creatures in. Um, because once we've got those creatures, we don't want them to obviously get killed. Um, we do want them to be able to defend themselves and have somewhere nice to, to stay so they, they don't also just get lost. Uh, I'm not quite sure whether they do have a you-must-feed-them-otherwise-they-run-away system. Um, I'm hoping it's kind of like Ark rather than something like... Um, What's the other Citadel Forge with Fire? Because Citadel's was just irritating that no one else could look after it and feed it. Um, yeah, it just that was a weird system because there was no troughs or anything. It was just a case of you had to be there and feed it whenever it needed feeding. It's very, very weird. Um, okay, so I do have bit of stone and a bit of wood so into the crafting menu and I can craft fence foundations and those fence foundations will allow me to place fences without them being on um, wall foundations like this so I can in theory if I wanted to get these fence foundations like this and Yeah, unfortunately you don't seem to be able to uh, place them at anything other than right angles to each other. Which is a bit odd, but what can what can we say? There we go. So we've got that, and then we can basically place walls on top of that so we can start building up the corral. Um, and it does have this nice stone foundation effect as well, so it's not just like a, a slab of stone like it is in Ark. Um, I don't have any bandages to look after myself, so I need to make some of those as well. So yeah, there's loads of stuff in this. Um, the only way to heal yourself in Ark, for instance, is to eat eat meat. Um, berries don't work, so you have to eat cooked meat, and that will heal you. Whereas in this, you do have a lot more realistic sort of effect, um, where you just bandage yourself. Okay, there's no actual bandage, but you can see my health going up as I'm bandaging myself. I also have some aloe tonics, so aloe vera is the equivalent of a health potion in this game which fair enough you know I can see why they've done that um, but yeah when when you actually get more people on and you're all doing things and um, you can see on the map that I mean Volgaz is actually on there we go he's he's actually online at the moment um, and I think Soul Reaver might be online at the moment as well which is interesting so, um, yeah, that is interesting. So, Volgaz is on his way back to base. He's obviously been out on another expedition. Um, and it doesn't usually sh show people online unless they are active. So, it shouldn't show them just because they are inside the server, as in they have a character. It should show them when they're moving around and active. There's Volgaz.
There we go. So he's he's normally the person who goes out and uh, oh, he's run off, so I can't. Um, but yeah, he's usually the guy that runs off and goes and gathers stuff, um, which does make it very nice and uh, easy because he goes and gathers all the metal for making the iron ingots um, and yeah so we now have probably a load of yep so we've got 497 iron stone and 497 iron stone so that's going to make a hell of a lot of iron ingots and in here, we've got some nice weapons that he's made and some reinforcements. So we'll be able to start improving the material that the base is made out of at some point. So let's salute him. There we go. There we go, guys. This is just a very brief overview. Um, please do let me know in the comments if uh, you... <laughs> He's surrendering. Um, if you want to see more videos on this, you know, a bit more exploration and um, boss fighting, etc. Because there are world bosses in this. Um, Wolf, as he is, or Volgaz, um, and Soul Reaver have actually gone and fought some. Um, which makes it very nice. Oh, good job we're inside. Looks like it's a sandstorm coming. Let's have a look. Yep, there's a sandstorm coming. So, there we go. But anyway, yeah, if you do want to see some more, please do let me know. Um, and uh, I will get on to it. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I, I do appreciate it. And um, hopefully you want to see more of this. But as I said at the beginning... You know, please, if you want to support the channel, please do uh, subscribe, like this video, and also check out my Patreon and subscribe to that or join that as it is. Um, I'm still working out the tiers, but with only one person, it's it's kind of not worth it at the moment. I have done a few special previews for for Jeff to uh, to see some videos before they release to everybody else. Um, but as I get more patrons, um, I will obviously sort out a better a better system and a more consistent approach. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure you do click the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you haven't done so already. Share the video with all of your friends and please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the video and anything else you'd like to see in the future. If you want to support me more, please follow the link to the Patreon page. It's displayed on screen and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You'll take care. Bye for now.